Hi guys, welcome to MelodeF channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you 9 array methods that you will use in every project. The first method is the map method. Map method is by far my favorite in JavaScript. It creates a new array by iterating through the elements of the array and applying the desired modification. It doesn't modify the original array as compared to the callback function of for each method does. All right, let's see the example. Let's say I have a name array. So inside the array, I got John, Mary, and Jane. And then if I want to iterating through the elements inside the array, I can use map method. So I can do this. I'm gonna create a new variable called last name. And then I'm gonna loop through the array using map method. So I'm gonna bring the name variable and using map method. So the map method, you can receive two parameters. One is value and second is index. So in our case, I'm gonna receive one parameter, which is value. I'm gonna receive val as value and return. I want to concatenate the name and the last name together. So I can achieve that by doing this. I'm gonna get the value and concatenate it with, let's say, um, Smith, all right? And then let's console.log last name. Okay, if you go to the console, as you can see, you can see um, John Smith, Mary Jane Smith, Jane Smith. So this is the first use case of map method. So the second use case is we can multiply numbers. All right, um, let's uh, comment that out. And then I'm gonna create variable called numbers. So inside this array, we have one, two, three, and four. All right. And then we're gonna create the new variable called multiply numbers. All right, and then we're gonna get the numbers variable and use the map method. Receive one parameter. So I'm gonna use uh, num parameter and return num multiply two. So let's uh, console.log to see the result. Console multiply numbers. All right. So as you can see in the console, it locks two, four, six, and eight, which is the number that we are multiply them, okay? Next, the second method is includes method. So the includes method returns a Boolean value after checking if the desired element is present in the array or not. I always use this includes method when working with APIs to check if some value exists in the array or not. Okay, let's say I have a uh, my cars and inside this array I got um, Lambo, Honda, and Ford. All right, so if you want to check the value inside the array is access in the array or not, you can use this method so easily. Okay, we're gonna use console.log and then we bring the my cars variable and use the dot includes method so i'm gonna check um if lambo is in the array so if the value is in the array it's gonna return true but if there is no value that exists in this array it's gonna return false let's say i got um ferrari as you can see in the console it returns false all right this is the use case of includes method Next, the join method. So the join method is specially used when we want to join all the elements of the array using some separator and return a string. The default separator of join method is a comma if you don't pass any value as an argument. So let's see the example. Let's say I have a let animals and then I'm gonna use the emoji. So first is bunny. Second is monkey. The third is horse. And the fourth is elephant. All right. And then if I want to join this animal together, I can use join method. So let's console.log and 
we use animal dot join that's it as you can see in the console this method join our animal together and separate the value by a comma so if you want to change the separator from comma to something you can pass the argument to this method okay let's use um hyphen all right as you can see the our value is separated by hyphen next method is define method so define method returns the first instance of the element if the element satisfies the condition provided in the callback function so i use find method when i want to check if there exists any element satisfying my condition when there's no element satisfies the condition the function return undefined okay let's see the example let's say i have a const numbers and inside this array, I have a 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And then we're going to create variable called odd. And we're going to get numbers and use find method. So we're going to receive one parameter and return num modulus 2 not equal 0. So if some numbers that modulus 2 and not equal to 0, we're going to get a value, okay? Console.log odd. So as you can see in the console, the first value that find method found is 5 because 5 cannot modulus 2 and equal to 0, all right? Next method is filter method. The filter method creates a new array with the elements that satisfy the condition we specify for it. This method takes a callback function in which you have to specify the condition. So let's say we have const numbers and inside this array we have 4, 2, 6, 9, 10, 13, 5. Okay. And then I'm going to use filter method. So we're going to create another variable called even number and we're gonna get the numbers and use filter method so filter method we're gonna receive one parameter num and then we're gonna return num modulus 2 equal 0 so if the number inside this array that modulus 2 and equal to 0 we're gonna get that value all right we're gonna console.log and log even number all right as you can see in the console we got 4 2 6 10 that modulus 2 and equal 0 here the filter method return a new array with all the even numbers as that was our condition next method is reduce method the reduce method executes a reducer callback function think of it like when you are adding multiple numbers in real life You'll start with the first value and iterate other numbers while adding the values one by one. The reduce method does something similar and finally, y'all end up with one single value. Apart from adding, it can perform a lot of things which you may want. So let's say I have const numbers and inside this array, I have one, two, three. And next, we're going to create another variable called sum. So we're going to use reduce number to sum our value and we're gonna take the numbers and use reduce method so the reduce method gonna take two parameters so the first parameter is previous value and the second is current value and we're gonna return it so we're gonna return previous value plus current value all right let's uh, console.log sum so as you can see in the console, it logs 6, which is the value that we use reduce to sum. So reduce method doesn't modify the original array. The next method is concat method. Concat method is used to merge arrays. It returns an entirely new array without modifying any of the arrays provided. So let's say we have uh, let num1 and inside this array we have 1, 2, 3. And the next array, we have num2 and 4, 5, 6. All right. So if I want to merge these two arrays together, we can use concat method. 
let's create another variable called concat num and then we're gonna take the num1 and use concat method and then we're gonna pass the num2 variable to it alright let's console.log concat num so as you can see in the console it locks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the array that we merge them together by using concat method. Next method is slice method. The slice method is used to slice a part of the array. It doesn't change the original array and creates a new deep copy of the array. This is useful when you don't want to alter your original data and instead take a copy or slice of the array. Okay, let's see we have const um, emojis. So inside this array, we're gonna use some emoji. So you can use whatever you want. Alright, this is my emojis. And then we're gonna use the slide method. Okay, I'm gonna console.log and we're gonna take emojis variable and use slide method. So slide method take two arguments. I'm gonna pass zero and I'm gonna pass the two argument. Okay, so in the console, as you can see, the first argument is the index that I want to start slice value in array. And the second argument is the numbers of value that you want to get after you slice the value from this array. So we got um, this one and this one, as you can see in the console. So if I want to get the third smile face and XD smile face, we can start from 0, 1, 2 index 2 and end with uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're gonna use 5. Alright, as you can see, it locks these three emojis. So this is the first use case of select method. You can use this method to copy array. So let's say we want to copy this emojis array. I'm gonna create emojis copy and I'm gonna take emojis and then use dot slide method. Let's uh, console.log emoji copy so as you can see in the console we have the copy from emojis array to emojis copy array and you can put some new value to our new array so let's do it by um, take emojis copy and using put method and we're gonna put uh, some uh, new emoji uh, here all right as you can see in the console, we got our new emoji at the end of our array. The last method is splice method. The splice method is one of the multi-utilities methods in JavaScript. The main purpose of splice method is to delete elements from an array, but you can add, delete, and update elements using the splice method alone. That's pretty cool. So let's see the first use case of how to use splice method. So the first use case is we're going to use splice method to add value. Let's say um, we have let my nums. So in our array, we have one, two, and four. So I want to add number three between two and four. But how are we going to do it? We can use splice method to do it. Okay, we're going to take my nums and using splice method. So the splice method take three arguments. The first argument is the position where we want to insert the element. So we want to insert our value to um, 0, 1, 2. So we're going to insert to second index, all right? And the second argument is the number of elements to delete starting from that position. So in our case, we don't want to delete anything. We just use 0. That means we don't want to delete. And the third argument is the value that we want to insert into our array. So we're going to insert number three into our array. All right, let's uh, console.log my nums. All right, as you can see in the console, we inserted number three into our array. 
All right, guys. The second use case of the splice method is you can use splice method to delete an item from array. Um, let's say we want to delete some value in our array, so we're gonna uh, add some value to our array. So we're gonna add uh, three and five, and next we're gonna create another variable called deleted nums. And we're gonna use uh, my nums dot splice. So when you want to delete some value out of array, you just pass two arguments. So the first argument that the position that you want to delete our item from array. So in our cases, uh, I want to delete number three, which is uh, number three is in the zero one two uh, second index. Okay, so we're gonna pass two as a index and the second argument is the number of elements to delete starting from that position right we're gonna uh, just do one because we want to delete just one value so if you want to delete two or three we can pass this value in our case just delete one value okay and the third argument we don't need that just get rid of it okay when you console.log my nums, as you can see in the console, our number three, it's gone because we remove it. This is because when you are deleting elements using the splice method, it returns a new array with those deleted elements and modifies the original array. Okay, makes sense? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my array method that I guarantee you will need to use it in every project. If this video is helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys soon in the next video.